War in Ukraine is a massive blow to the global economy's fragile recovery. Putin's invasion of Ukraine will result in a global stagflationary recession. This is a combination of high inflation rate, low economic growth rate, and high unemployment, triggering a massive negative supply shock to the global economy. This comes at a time when the global economy is still unanchored from inflationary expectations arising from COVID-19. The economic impact will be felt the most in Russia and Ukraine, followed by the EU due to its heavy reliance on Russian gas. The crude oil prices in the United States will also be severely impacted due to the close integration of world energy markets. While a small denomination of energy firms will benefit from the spike in oil prices, there are many households and businesses that will experience massive inflationary pressures, leading to a significant reduction in their spending. This will lead to a sharp economic downturn and the war's timing post-COVID-19 does not aid the global economy's recovery at all. Don't be surprised if your parents want to use public transport more often in the future. All in all, the economic impact arising from the Russia-Ukraine war is highly adverse and cannot be underestimated. The weakened investors' confidence will exacerbate the war's negative macroeconomic consequences on a global scale. So what about the conflict's impact on Singapore? For one, crude oil prices have also spiked in Singapore. The table below compares the changes in petrol prices over one day. Shocking, right? The Straits Times states that the Singapore's economy might be less directly impacted by the war in Ukraine or the sanctions on Russia, but a potential hit to global growth and rising inflation can eventually put a dent on its economic outlook. The Ministry of Manpower has also reported concerns that inflation and supply chain disruptions from the Russia-Ukraine conflict may dampen Singapore's labour outlook. However, the labour market recovery should be sustained in 2022 as business activities continue to pick up. From these articles, we can infer that external factors do impact Singapore, as the effects happening globally in terms of labour and inflation are also felt locally. This is unsurprising, considering that Singapore has a high reliance on imported goods due to the lack of natural resources. Where AD equals to C plus I plus G plus X minus M, M increases due to the increase of prices of goods such as oil and its joint supply worldwide. This causes a fall in AD and thus leads the economy to move backwards.